Hello, today I'll be showing you how to set up as the driver side for a race engineer. So a lot of these steps will be similar to uh, how the race engineer sets up, but there's some specific stuff you'll have to do as the driver so that your race engineer can get your data from you. We can go to our website, deltazeroproduction.com. And then fr from there, we'll scroll down where it says competitor resources, we'll click on that. And then right here, we'll do race engineering setup guide, and then we'll hit download. And then when we open it, it'll be a full description, a full uh, guide on how to set this up. And you could follow along. So the first thing we'll need is Radman VPN. There's a link in the guide, and then you just hit free download. And then once it's done, you would run the executable. You'll hit yes. And then hit install. And then it'll install it. All right, once it's installed, we'll get a pop-up window. It's the Radman VPN. When you get it originally, it, 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 if it's off, you just want to click on this button. You'll turn it on. And what we can do here is change the name. And we have our race engineer here. The, the spot in which this differs, so you do the same thing you do for the engineering side. The next step we're going to want to do after getting our driver connected is we will have to edit a few of the windows firewall settings this will not compromise your security at all it is just to allow uh it will just stop windows from blocking your udp data transmission the so pretty much the telemetry data gets sent through so first we'll want to go to control panel then we'll go to systems of security windows defender Go to advanced settings. In the advanced settings, we will want to go to action. Click on properties. We'll have the domain profile. Under states, we want to go to protected network connections. Click customize. Look for Radmin VPN. Unclick it, hit OK. Do that again for private profile and public profile. Same thing. And then once you've done it for all three of them, you hit OK. And now you are good. You can close out of it, close out of it. So now you are set up for the, to allow the UDP uh, telemetry data to go through. Um, this will have to be done for both the driver and the engineer. But now we'll want to go into the game. So once you're here at the menu, you'll want to go down to game options, settings, telemetry settings, then We'll want to go to the UDP telemetry, turn this on. Uh, the first method uh, you can do is just turning broadcast mode on. And then for hourly, you're going to want to turn the your telemetry onto public and show player name to on. This will allow the telemetry data to be sent about your name and everything. Uh, it's very helpful. So this is the first method. This is the method that mo pretty much all the PC drivers can use. Um, there is an exception to when the driver is on console. So when you're on console, you'll want to, instead of um, doing broadcast, you'll want to switch this into off. 
And then you'll want to put your engineer's uh, Radmin IP address here. So we'll want to tab back out. Close this. So in the Radmin, we'll want to go to our engineer here. We'll right click. We'll right click here, do copy IP address from here. And then we will go back to here, back to the game. Once we're in the game, we'll go to the here. We'll hit enter. We'll delete the old one and then we'll control V, which is copy paste. And then we will put the address for your engineer. So this will also work for when you're on PC, you could just send it straight to the IP address of the Radmin and you're good. But for console players, what you're actually going to want to do is not send your in it to your engineer. You'll want to send it from here want to send your IP address. So you'll want to go up to where you are on your computer, click copy IP address, go back into your game. In here, instead of putting your engineers IP address, you'll put your PC's IP address and then you'll hit enter. And then from there, You'll leave the game, or we'll go back out. Next, we will go back to the internet. And there'll be another link called Team Telemetry. We'll want to choose the F1 2022 version. If you are doing it for a uh, older version, there are usually older ones in there. We'll click the newest release. Once it's finished downloading, we'll want to right click show in folder. In this folder, we'll right click again, extract here. We'll get the executable, we'll double click it. We'll choose install. And then once it's done extracting it all, it'll bring up a new window. We'll hit Launch telemetry, team telemetry. And now we have the telemetry up. As the driver, you'll need a PC, um, another PC that can run the team telemetry and the Radmin that is required. We'll go to the options here. And then we will go to UDP. And then what you're going to want to do here is now that the data is being sent to your driver, you'll want to restream it. So copy the stream. And then you'll want to copy the stream to. You'll copy your engineers. IP address now. So you'll right click, copy IP address, paste it into here. And now you are streaming it. You will need to change the listening port since we are already using that. So we're using 2777. You could change it to 2888. And then what your You'll probably have to switch this one. But then now what you're going to need to do after you save it is now your um, engineer should be able to getting it. You will need your engineer to switch their listening port to 2888 since we just changed it to that. To your engineer. If you're on PC, it's as easy as just broadcasting it having Radmin on that PC. Uh, for console, you'll need a PC that you can put Radmin VPN on and to download 
uh, team telemetry that so that you will be able to send resend the data from your console to that team telemetry and that team telemetry will be able to send it to your engineer um, there is a thing you'll want to remember or uh, if you are running in console make sure that your console and your pc that you're going to be running radmin on and sending the data for team telemetry is on the same network so make sure that if you're doing wireless if you're doing wi-fi for your game for your console make sure your pc is also doing wireless and if you're wired make sure your pc is wired so make sure they're do using the same exact network type other than that, it should work. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us in the comments. Also, we have a Discord. You can come in there and ask us questions there as well. We appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.